वेलकम टू ईसी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी सीइंग डेसिमेशन इन टाइम दिस इज एन एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वीडियो ऑफ डेसिमेशन इन टाइम एल्गोरिदम सो दिस इज एक्चुअली एन एफ एफ टी एल्गोरिदम देर आर टू एल्गोरिदम इन एफ एफ टी डेसिमेशन इन टाइम एंड डेसिमेशन इन फ्रीक्वेंसी सो वी हैव डन द बेसिक वीडियो ऑफ एफ एफ टी सो इफ यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद द एफ एफ टी एल्गोरिदम और द बेसिक्स ऑफ द एल्गोरिदम जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस वीडियो आई बी शेयरिंग द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स so we are going to study how to draw the basic butterfly for a decimation in time algorithm okay so the basic butterfly consists of two inputs so i'm teaching you how to draw the butterfly diagram okay so there are two lines i'm going to apply my inputs here my first input is x of 0 my second input is x of 1 okay now draw two diagonals now there are four branches 1 2 3 and 4 there are weights for this branches branch weights 1 1 for this lower diagonal 1 for this upper diagonal and a negative 1 for this bottom branch so this is the weights now there is a twiddle factor so we have already discussed about twiddle factors in the earlier videos very uh, earlier videos different videos we have discussed about the twiddle factor so if you are not familiar with the twiddle factor concept please watch the earlier videos okay so i'm going to represent this as w n raised to k since this is a general butterfly diagram so this n there is a w n raised to k here so the n denotes number of inputs now the k denotes number of butterflies so if you are going to face exams you don't have to understand the theory or a uh, proof of decimation in time you, you can directly jump into the problems so for that you only need this okay so there is a x of 0 x of 1 there is a twiddle factor there is four branches and there are branch weight for each branch now what will be the output on the other side let's see so i have already said n is the number of inputs that is here there is two inputs so you can replace this ns2 but since this is a general butterfly i'll keep it ns say okay so k is a number of butterflies and another thing is that the k starts from 0 so k starts from 0 to etc okay now i'll be writing the result here so in this upper branch the output will be like this x of 0 plus now from here the next value will come so the first value will come from here and the second value will come from this second input that is x of 0 plus x of 1 into here there is a weight there is a w n raised to k so w n raised to k or you can write it as x of 0 plus w n raised to k into x of 1 so i'll remove this so so for the lower output x of 0 now with this x of 1 this branch is negative so you have to give a negative minus w n raised to k into x of 1 okay i'll uh, i'll explain the flow once again so this is x of 0 since this branch is positive x of 0 is also positive plus now x of 1 into since there is a w n raised to k w n raised to k into x of 1 again this is positive now for the lower output x of 0 since this branch is positive x of 0 is again positive since there is a negative this x of 1 and w n raised to k will have a negative that is minus w n raised to k into x of 1 so this is the basic butterfly diagram for a decimation in time now since there is only two inputs and there is only a single butterfly you can replace n with 
2 and k with 0. That is w 2 raised to 0. So here also 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 0. So this is the 2 point butterfly. Now why the name is given as butterfly is because of, of the shape. It looks somewhat like a butterfly. So the name given as butterfly diagram. So this is the two point butterfly diagram for a decimation in time. Now I am going to draw the four point butterfly diagram for decimation in time. So I have simply drawn four lines. I am going to draw the four point butterfly. So while applying for the case of a, a four input butterfly, the inputs given are like x of 0, x of 2, x of 1 and x of 3. That is here I have uh, given like even index inputs and odd index inputs. So this is the general case how to apply input to a four input butterfly diagram in decimation in time. So there is a simple dotted line drawn just to understand the separation. So these are the two even inputs and these are the two odd inputs. Now for the first stage, the four uh, point butterfly diagram consists of two stages. For the first stage, there are two butterflies. So this butterfly is nothing but the basic two point butterfly which we have discussed earlier. So here also there are branch weights and this lower branch has a negative. So I am just ignoring the other ones and just simply putting this negative sign for the bottom branch and here also there is a negative value okay so for the second stage what we are going to do is we are going to combine these two two point butterflies like this so the two butterflies are combined in the stage two to get the result of a four point butterfly so here the inputs applied are x of 0, x of 2, x of 1 and x of 3. So the outputs are here. So again we have to consider the twiddle factors right. So what is the twiddle factor for this case? So here for this butterfly this is a two point butterfly. So the value of capital N is equal to 2. And how many butterflies are there? There are there is only a single butterfly. So the k value is equal to 0. So here it is w2 raised to 0. So similarly here also it is w2 raised to 0. Now considering the stage 2. So there are how many butterflies here? There are 2 butterflies. And how many number of inputs are there? There are 1, 2, 3, 4 inputs. So here the value is w4 raised to 0 and w4 raised to 1. So the value of k varies from 0 to number of butterflies. Since there is 2 butterflies, the k value varies from 0 to 1 and the n value is 4 since there is 4 inputs. Okay, so it is very simple. So this output we are going to apply to this second stage. So I am going to write the output of this upper branch. It will be, I will remove this. Okay. Here it is x of 0 plus w2 raised to 0 into x of 2. Here it is x of 0 minus w2 raised to 0 into x of 2. The minus is because the lower branch is negative. And for this case x of 1 plus w2 raised to 0 into x of 3 and x of 1 minus w2 raised to 0 into x of 3. So for simplicity I am going to take this is A, this is B, this is C and this is D. Okay and I am going to apply this A, B, C, D to the second stage. A, B, C and D will come here. Here again the lower branches are negative minus 1 and minus 1 here. All other branches are positive. So there are two butterflies and the lower branches of these two butterflies are negative and the upper branches are all other branches are positive. So what is the output at this point? A, 
plus W 4 is to C. The second inputs come from this branch. So W 4 is to 0 into the value is C. Now for this B plus W 4 is to 1 into D. Now for this A the value here the branch value is negative. So minus W4 is to 0 into the input is C. And for here, B, the branch weight is negative. So minus W4 is to 1 into D. The main things to understand is that the lower branches has twiddle factors and the lower branches has weight is negative. So similarly for the stage 2 also, the lower branches is negative and there are twiddle factors. In order to write the output equation, you just have to follow the path of input and the weight. So for this output, see it is coming from A. The first input is coming from A. The branch weight is positive and the lower value is coming from C. There is a twiddle factor and also the branch weight is positive. Time and it is a four point butterfly.